So one of the objectives when we're looking at talking about expecting disruption is I need to understand and accept that disruption is going to happen. Um, but I also need to understand that I can do something about it, but it is an economic and a psychological question, right? Of what is my risk tolerance? Where are the main points within my supply chain, within my business that are the most vulnerable? What do I feel I have to protect? And if I'm a small business with not a lot of dollars behind me, how do I make those decisions? Those are things that take pre-work and constant work. This isn't a one-off event. So that's really what um, in the category of expecting disruption at a high level, right? Yep. As we, I, I think it's, it's understanding that there's things that are internal and external. We focus the front end of the, of this conversation today, really on kind of the external things, things that are happening to us from outside that we're having to uh, react to, uh, as best we can. Right. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's going to fall into proactive planning to react more efficiently. Right? Mm -hmm. Um, but there's also things that are internal to the organization. And part of it is that psychology of accepting risk of understanding it, knowing where I'm going to be. And it's also understanding the processes and controls within the organization. Do I have processes? Do I have communication gaps? Do I have, uh, plan gaps in how I run my business? that will amplify a challenge or help de-amplify the result of that challenge, right? Those are things that fall under this category um, and uh, are important that you have in the full scope of what you're looking at.